Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well. So if you're new here, hello I'm Georgia and I am currently living in Singapore and I cover all different kinds of topics about living in Singapore as a foreigner as well as vlogging my everyday life here. So if you would like to see more of me, go ahead and hit that big red button below. Subscribe, join the family. So today I'm going to be talking about some unwritten rules that exist in Singapore. Some things that you just kind of know, no one really voices these things but they're just kind of like unwritten rules exist in Singapore so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of those today so let's get started okay so first one is do not take a table that has been choked chop when I say chope, it sounds weird with my accent. If someone has chopped the table and put a packet of tissues or an umbrella or some kind of belonging on the table, you know it has been reserved. You cannot go near that table and you cannot sit at that table. Done. It has been taken. <laughs> Next is the reserved seat on the MRT. It's just kind of an unwritten rule that you don't sit there. Now, obviously it says it's reserved for elderly or children, but what's funny to me is people seem to avoid that seat like the plague like even if it's the last seat available they'll just be kind of like eyeing each other up like should I take it similar kind of thing on the London Underground um, you know it's there for those in need but if there's no elderly in sight no children I'm gonna sit on the chair if it's the last chair available I'm gonna sit there and if someone elderly happens to walk in I'll of course offer my chair let me know if you guys sit on the reserve seat or if you could get too scared to I know Justin is so funny about it you know in my last video I told you Justin is very law-abiding he gets annoyed at me if I sit in the chair but I'm like there's no one here that's gonna take the seat so I'm gonna sit here until someone needs it he's very funny like that but um yeah let me know if you guys sit in the reserve seat or if you avoid it at all costs honestly thinking back to like life in London I I'm forgetting so much stuff it's weird I believe we stand on the right on the London Underground but in Singapore you stand on the escalator on the left hand side so when I first moved here it took me a while to get into the habit of standing on the right just make sure you're always standing on the left it's really frustrating if you're like trying to get up or down the escalator quickly and someone's just clearly standing in your way kind of an unwritten rule just get out the way and uh, stand to the left another unwritten rule is in the workplace so working for a Singaporean company experiences a lot basically they officially in your work contract that your working day ends at 6 30 you're not going to leave at 6 30 unfortunately it's just this weird kind of unwritten rule where you have to linger around if you leave at 6 30 everyone's going to judge you um, you should stay longer or even you shouldn't leave until your boss leaves you just feel like you have to stay longer than you're actually contracted to let me also know if you guys experience this what's it like at your workplace in singapore do you leave on time or do you always like linger or wait for your box to leave it just seems to be like a very common thing in singapore another one is wedding and pals now when someone gets married it's like an unwritten rule that if you are invited to the wedding you will have to give them an ang pao and then i think a part of the unwritten rule is that you're meant to look up the hotel that they will be getting married in then you calculate how much your meal would cost at the wedding and that's how much money you have to give them i believe that's correct if i'm comparing to the uk again um we would give like wedding gifts or things like that but um in singapore kind of money and ang pals are expected usually it's an unwritten rule that it should cover the cost of your meal during the wedding um, reception I find that one really really interesting I've experienced it a couple of times and people are like you know you have to pay them you know you have to give them money I'm just like oh really so yeah it's kind of an unwritten rule here another one is that you must state your payment method I touched on this slightly in a previous video but when you go to pay for something the options are always how do you want to pay like tell me how you want to pay so is it nets Visa, MasterCard, PayWave. It's just kind of an unwritten rule that you need to state how you want to pay as you pass them the credit card. So if I pass them my credit card, um, the cashier will just kind of be like, so how do you want to pay? I'm just like, can, can you not decide? But you have to state how um, you want to pay. So MasterCard, Visa, PayWave. Oh, it's really annoying sometimes. I feel like PayWave's the easiest, right? 
Next, you've got to put your pin in. Paywave is just very quick, so I usually opt for Paywave. Another one is taking your shoes off at the door. Now, in Singapore, if you go to someone's house, it's just an unwritten rule that you have to take your shoes off outside of the apartment before entering. It takes a while to get used to because normally I just like shuffle in someone's house with my shoes on and then take them off, but you need to take your shoes off outside of the house. If you don't, it's kind of pretty much considered rude and it's just like an unwritten rule. Take your shoes off before you enter someone's house. And the last one is, <laughs> it could be an unwritten rule, but I just feel like so many people don't follow it. And that is um, letting people off the MRT before the other people come on. It's like my biggest pet peeve in Singapore. So many people just don't let you off. And it's like, can I just get off the train before you all pile in? It's the same with elevators, actually. You know, I've stopped here, I need to get out, but people start piling in. I'm like, no, 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 I need to get off. Please let me out. That can be quite annoying. But in general, it is an unwritten rule. Let people off the train before you come piling in. It's just common decency. I think a lot of people need to learn it, though. It seems like a lot of people still don't understand it, but just make sure you do it. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna finish there. I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment below and let me know if you have any more ideas for unwritten rules that exist in Singapore. I think it's really funny. If you wanna see more from me, please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm nearly hitting 60,000 subscribers. That is incredible. I just wanna say thank you so much for your support. I think we're gonna hit it soon. So go and smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.